Hello everybody, Thomas here. Thanks so much for clicking on this video. Before we get started, I just want to let you know that I do have the flu, so I don't have um, the most energy in the world. But I wanted to make this video real quick because I did just watch the 10 minute version of All Too Well's uh, short film, the All Too Well short film. Um, so from what I understand, um, Taylor Swift, made this song back when Red came out and made a 10 minute version but cut it down to about five minutes because it doesn't work on an album being 10 minutes long and come to find out over the years what's talked about is that Taylor is talking about Jake Gyllenhaal and now I, I don't know too much about this this you know love affair or whatever um or this romance story or what, whatever you want to call it obviously there there was some emotion there were some um tugs in the road when it comes to their relationship and obviously this is shown in the music video they're happy at first but then he obviously has some kind of anger problems some kind of anger issues but then he always is like no it's fine it's fine we're fine um so it, it seems as though there were obviously some good things about the relationship but a lot of it pushed back on you're the reason why i'm changing i'm changing i'm changing because it seems as though she can't even find herself anymore uh taylor can't even find herself anymore because you've changed me into a person i don't want to be and i don't like who you are um it, it seems like she in the mute in the video anyways it seems like that there was a, a party or a get together that they went to and at this get together he barely talked to taylor at all um he said that she wasn't talking to him but obviously when you're in a fish out of water situation obviously you're not going to be in the most um, you're not going to be the most confident in the first place. I know I'm not. If I'm ever in a situation like that, I'm always very awkward socially. And that's just who I am as a person and uh, just uh, introverted in a way. And obviously over the years, I feel like Taylor has became more and more, you know, uh, forefronted with, with opinions, but that could just be the writing style as well. Um, but either way, when it comes to a personal relationship, I have no idea. I don't know the woman, obviously, but, um, well, one thing that I did see, you, you could see that struggle, and obviously relationships have that kind of struggle as well in the first place, but, you know, after this dinner, they're arguing with each other, and, you know, he, she's talking about the problems that she was having with the interaction. He was like, no, you're, you're crazy, basically, and she was like, I'm not crazy, and then eventually he's like, no, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, I'm sorry, I love you, whatever, and so I, you could see see the the tearing apart at her and then eventually I guess he just goes I don't want to be with you anymore I didn't really understand that part it seemed like there was there was obviously issues throughout the relationship and then she sits down with him and they didn't actually like vocalize what was being said in the video but it seems as though he was like we're done I can't do this anymore or maybe he cheated on her I don't know um and so maybe that's why she was upset and he kept calling and kept calling. That's maybe, maybe I just didn't look into the lyrics enough. Maybe that's what happened. Um, they were in a relationship and then he, he cheats on her and then he keeps calling her and keeps calling her and tries to, um, you know, apologize or whatever. And obviously it just keeps breaking her apart even more every time she hears it, uh, hears the phone ring. And then what's crazy is she talks about him having this red scarf that she left at his sister's house when they first met or the first get together that they had and at the end of the music video she's talking at a like a a book reading or whatever a book signing situation and he's outside with the red scarf so obviously you know I'm trying to get over you, but there's no way that you're getting over me because you still have that scarf because it still smells like me. There is a lot of emotional tension here. I don't exactly understand what went on completely here. I do think that maybe that, you know, they were struggling. Obviously, he had some kind of anger problem or maybe he was kind of, you know, cheating her, uh, cheating on her from the beginning and it just kept going more and more into the forefront because when he was with her, 
he, she tried to grab his hand and he, he pulled it away and pushed it down. Um, and he was like, no, I didn't even notice. Obviously you noticed that happened. That wasn't, uh, you know, that, that didn't just randomly happen. You obviously knew what you were doing. So I think that maybe that's what it was. He, he was pretending that she was the only one for him, but obviously that was not the case. And maybe he told her straight up, Hey, uh, I want to tell you that this happened and so, or that this has been happening. So who knows, but it's obviously, there's a lot of emotional struggling pain there. And I, I did enjoy the video. I actually watched it with my daughter. Um, and she was like, wow, that, that was, that was really sad. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> she was very sad and it was very emotional and it was, it, it was pulling on my heartstrings, even though I didn't hundred percent understand it. Maybe you could let me know in the comments below what exactly was going on in Taylor's song. Like I, like I said, I didn't dive deep into the lyrics or anything like that. I did watch the video and I, I was trying to comprehend or process what was going on, but maybe you could let me know. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you do end up liking it. If not, please leave in the comments below why you didn't. I'd really appreciate it. Make sure to click that subscribe button if you like this video, like past videos, and want to see more in the future. Also, I have a link tree link down below that goes to my other social media as well as my Spotify. If you don't have Spotify and you have another music stream platform, just search up Thomas Hadley and my music will be there. Thank you so much. Goodbye.